ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله brothers and sisters in islam assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i am your host kareem abu zaid a new series called righteous companions and i would love to begin that series of episodes about the companions of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with a beautiful verse in surah at-tawbah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said was-sabiquna al-awwaluna min al-muhajirin wal-ansar wal-ladina attaba'uhum bi ihsan radi Allahu anhum wa radu an وأعد لهم جنات تجري تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا ذلك الفوز العظيم and the foremost to embrace Islam the immediate people who accepted Islam from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم who believed in his message from the immigrants, those who dwelt in Medina, and also from Al-Ansar, the place where the Prophet ﷺ and the immigrants later on, after 13 years in Mecca, migrated to, which is in Medina, and those who followed them exactly in faith وَالَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be amongst those who follow exactly the footsteps of al-muhajirin and al-ansar in faith. Why? رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying I'm well pleased with them. And they are well pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he prepared for them a paradise beneath which a river flows. Indeed, this is the ultimate success. Brothers and sisters in Islam, it is an honor to talk about the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is so touching to me personally because I love all of them in a way that you cannot imagine. And hoping in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the day of resurrection that I will be with them. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam says, Al-mar'u ma'man ahab. A person will be with those whom he loved. Brothers and sisters in Islam, why righteous companions? I mean, why this series? I was blessed before to present to the viewers of Huda TV more than one series, The Inevitable Journey, and also the best stories from the Quran. And I always, before I begin actually citing and narrating the actual content of the series, I explain to my viewers why. Why do we talk about the companions? What motivates you to learn about the companions? Why do we need to learn about the companions? What justifies you to sit in front of you, in front of someone like myself, and justifies me to use that air time in order to talk about such a subject. 
Is it because we don't have anything else to talk about? Or we really need this, that subject? Insha'Allah in this episode, and maybe the next two episodes, again, I will spend some time, some time before I actually embark on talking about the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but I want to warn you that I'm not going to talk about their biography. No, very brief, very brief addressing of some of the events that took place in the lives of some of these companions in order to serve the objective for which we are talking about righteous companions. Now it's time to know why are we talking about the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Because based on this, we will talk about them. Brothers and sisters in Islam, there are seven reasons, seven reasons why should we learn about righteous companions? Why should we learn about the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The first reason is the Ummah lacks role models. We do not have people that we can adopt their lifestyle. We see a lot of Muslims coming back to their deen all over the world. Don't despair, my dear brother, my dear sister, don't. A lot of Muslims, they are coming back to the deen. And you know what? They are searching for the pure deen. But unfortunately, they don't have living role models to help them carry on. It is difficult. They feel st like strangers. And this is something that the Prophet ﷺ did expect for the true believers. So they need some people role models in front of them in order to adopt and act the way that they acted. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the messengers and the prophets to be a living example for their followers. And in a lot of cases, and this is actually mentioned in the Quran, that the disbelievers sometimes would request that the messenger would be an angel. An angel. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells them if the messenger is an angel, he would not then become a role model for you. Because if the messenger does something, while the messenger is an angel, not a human being, then he commands you to do that thing, what are you going to say? You're going to say that he's an angel. I'm a human being. That is why the messenger because he is the uswa, he is the example that you must follow. He is a human being like you. He is also someone who eats and drinks, marries, goes to the market. He does everything. He has a family to take care of. But at the same time, he is able to attain righteousness and piety. In some cases, the people will say, this is the messenger of Allah. He is supported by al wahy by the revelation. He is supported by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, that he does not fall into major sins. That is why the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are the ideal. We know that our absolute example is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam delivered his message to people who lived around him who were not supported by the revelation, who were human beings like you and me. And you know what? They were able to attain a high level of piety and righteousness. And that is why we need to learn about them in order to be able, brothers and sisters in Islam, to adopt their example in their lives. Why righteous companions must be that example. Why righteous companions are the people 
whom we should look at. Right now, brothers and sisters in Islam, unfortunately, we do not have role models in the Ummah. We don't. And if they are, they are very few. And they are hidden all over the place. They are hidden in, in, in different places. And in the absence of role models, you will find that media outlets, TV, movies, Hollywood, uh, picture making people, football, the, 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 the sport organizations, the sport organization, football, soccer, you name it, basketball, they present it to our youth, to our Muslim children, people who are not deserving to be role models for our upcoming generations. Right now, you will find sisters who follow the footsteps of an actress. She would like to speak like her. She would like to dress like her. Or a brother who would mimic a football player. Meanwhile, he knows that football player drinks alcohol. He commits adultery and so on. So in the absence of role models, different organizations, outlets, introduce to the ummah people who do not deserve to be role models for us. That is why it is the time now, it is the time now to bring back the people who deserve to be the role models for us, which is righteous companions. The question that we ask, why righteous companions deserve to play that role in our lives? We will take a short break and we will come back, insha'Allah, to answer this question. Remember, we are still answering this question in the first episode of the series, Righteous Companions, Why Righteous Companions? And we answered the first reason, because we lack role models. We need role models. And the companions are the ideal role models for us. Why? Let's answer this after a short break. Don't go away. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Reviewing the second rule of al mim al sakina That is the letter Mim. So if the first Mim is non-vowel or sakina followed by a voweled Mim. So I will merge the first in the letter and I will pronounce them as one. وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ and we spoke abundantly on the virtues of seek a refuge with Allah from the outcast Satan. Especially for the first reciter, he's got to recite it out loud. Make sure it's Dhamma Thank you for joining us Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome back to Righteous Companions. Why Righteous Companions? Because we lack role models. Why Righteous Companions must be our role models? You know why? Because the one who knows the inner self of all of his creation Praise them. Allah, la ilaha illahu. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises someone, it's done. The Surah Al-Tirmidhi, a beautiful hadith, 
even so the scholars of hadith have uh, talked about its authenticity. A Bedouin was talking to another person in front of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he told him this, if I praise you, that means you're done, you're khalas, it, it's over. No one can bring you down. And if I defame you, or if I bring you down, if I do them, if I disgrace you, then it's over. No one can elevate you anymore. The Prophet ﷺ commented and he said, ذَلِكَ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ This is Allah. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises someone, it's over. It's over. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what's inside each one of us. Brothers and sisters in Islam, let's see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said regarding these righteous companions. Beside the first verse that I quoted at the beginning of the episode, that he said, I am pleased with them. There are verses in Surah Al-Hashr where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about the immigrants and Al-Ansar individually. When it came to the spoils of war, the booty of war, how they should be distributed, how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam should distribute them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this, لِلْفُقَرَاءِ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ الَّذِينَ أُخْرِجُوا مِنْ دِيَارِهِمْ وَأَمْوَالِهِمْ يَبْتَغُونَ فَضْلًا مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانًا O oh Muhammad, sallallahu ala Muhammad, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with all of his companions, distribute some of the booty of war, the spoils of war, to the poor of the immigrants who were expelled from their homes and their wealth in order to adhere to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to migrate from Mecca to Medina, يَبْتَغُونَ فَضْلًا مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانًا They are seeking the bounty and the pleasure of Allah when they did this. When they accepted to abandon their homes and their dwellings and their wealth and leave it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were not doing it to show off. They were doing it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you in the Quran, أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الصَّادِقُونَ Indeed, those are the truthful. There was a companion, his name is Suhaib, radiyallahu an. And inshallah, in the series, we will talk about him. In his way out, the disbelievers caught him. They told him, أَتَيْتَنَا سُعْلُوكَ فَقِيرًا You came to us poor. Now you made all this money. And you want to leave with it? No, no way. So Haib tells them, if I leave you the money, will you let me adhere to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? They said yes. He told them the money in this place and this place and this place. Go take it. He left all his belongings, brothers and sisters in Islam, seeking the pleasure of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed a verse regarding him. والأثر في المستدرك في 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 مستدرك الإمام الحاكم أبو عبد الله النيسابوري رحمه الله. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْرِي نَفْسَهُ بِتِغَاءَ مَرْضَاتِ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ رَؤُوفٌ بِالْعِبَادِ And some of the people, he will trade everything will sell everything just for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that was Suhaib. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about the muhajireen that they were the truthful. But what about the ansar? وَالَّذِينَ تَبَوَّأُوا الدَّارَ وَالْإِيمَانَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ يُحِبُّونَ مَنْ هَاجَرَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَا يَجِدُونَ فِي صُدُورِهِمْ حَاجَةً 
ولا يجدون في صدورهم حاجة مما أوتوا ويؤثرون على أنفسهم ويؤثرون على أنفسهم ولو كان بهم خصاصة ومن يوق شح نفسه فأولئك هم المفلحون يا الله الله سبحانه وتعالى say about them and the people the overall meanings the overall the overall meanings and the Ansar also give them a share of the booty of war or Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم because you know what they given half of their belongings half of their belongings when Abdul Rahman ibn Auf migrated to Medina the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم put him together with another companion his name is Sa'd ibn al-Rabi' and he told him that is your brother Sa'd ibn al-Rabi' called Abdul Rahman ibn Auf and he told him Ya Abdul Rahman look at my house take half look at my wealth take half brothers and sisters in Islam they prefer the immigrants over themselves when they are desperate when they are so in need for it brothers and sisters in Islam those are the successful another verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called both al muhajirin and al ansar the true believers وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَهَاجَرُوا وَجَاهَدُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ And those who believed and migrated, the immigrants, and they strove in the cause of Allah, that is al-muhajirin, وَالَّذِينَ آوَوْا وَنَصَرُوا And those who hosted them, given them shelter, and they given victory to the deen, to the religion of Allah, أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقَّا Indeed, those are the true believers. No one in the face of this earth can judge the faith of another human being. The only one who can judge your faith is the knower of the heart. لَا إِلَٰهَ إِلَّا هُو Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Qur'an, He is saying those are the true believers. Those are the true believers. لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةٌ They will earn forgiveness for their shortcomings. وَرِزْقٌ كَرِيمٌ And a generous provision from the most generous رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ Brothers and sisters in Islam, we must actually take them as role models. Based on this verse in Surah An-Nisa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يُشَاقِقِ الرَّسُولَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ الْهُدَى وَيَتَّبِعَ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نُوَلِّهِ مَا تَوَلَّى وَنُصْلِهِ جَهَنَّمْ وَسَاءَتْ مَصِيرًا And whoever opposes the messenger, this is from amongst us, contradicts the messenger, and takes a bath, other, a path other than the path of the believers, meaning the companions. He will abode in the, abide in the hellfire for eternity. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised that generation, the best generation ever walked in the face of this earth, the generation of the companions. It is time for you, if you want, to follow the footsteps of somebody to learn about them again. It is time for all of us, for all of us, brothers and sisters in Islam, to take the books out to learn about that generation. Brothers and sisters in Islam, a lot of forces out there, they want to split us, to place a wall between us and that generation, break that wall. And insha'Allah, I'm hoping in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my hope is only in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that this series of episodes, righteous companions, will contribute to the breaking of this wall, to the destruction of this wall, 
that we end up merging, merging, merging again with that beautiful generation, the generation that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about them, my companions. I have not finished talking about the first reason why righteous companions, yet my time is up for this episode. Insha'Allah, don't miss the next episode of Righteous Companions. I will continue on with the first reason and hoping, insha'Allah, to talk about the second, the third, and the fourth 